And you know who else is fantastic? Is our next guest. I am very, very excited to welcome him. He plays bass, saxophone, clarinet, organ, harmonica, sings, and so much more. I'm not even sure how much more he does, but he does it all. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Shay Marshall. Hey, how y'all doing? It's so great to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. Ooh, what are you what drinking? Oh, Fancy. this is the, uh, it's the house cocktail. At uh, my house, which means I'm the only one that drinks it because nobody comes over anymore. <laughs> but it's a Violette Fizz. It's it's like a slow gin fizz, but uh, here, I'll give you a recipe. Write this down. Yes. It's two yeah. gin, two simple syrup, three lemon, four Violette, and an egg white. Dry shake it and then throw some, throw some ice in there and shake it again and pour it and put a little... You can probably see my, my little maraschino cherry in the bottom of it. That's a little sardo oh cherry. Oh my gosh, Jay. Oh, Sounds yeah. that chill. Sounds oh, real chill. It, is, it was indeed chilled by the ice. Mm. It has been chilled. Literally. I, I what, what's, what's, wait a minute. So what's the sound? You play a harp sound whenever I say chill? Yes. Oh no, now, oh, now yeah. he's on to it. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'll try not to. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the past couple yeah. days was very chilly. See, that wasn't the word. That You're right, word. Maria. Still, but it's still Did derivative. you see that, Crystal? Maria on Facebook said, Pino yeah. is super competitive. Watch out. Yeah, Wait yeah I'm you, glad you're on my team. So do you have to drink whenever you say the word? <laughs> yes. yes. No, oh, no, we don't. <laughs> no. Because oh, I, I told I you that he's going to be on it. <laughs> I got you. It's going to be you. me halfway through. Yes. You sound so great, yeah. Shay. Well, I, I don't, don't, don't want to seem like a shell. Oh, oh, was that, that it? Count? Right? No, no, it was count. not. That was with the no. He's, yeah. Almost false oh, alarm you're a there. Oh, tricky one. Oh, my goodness. All right, Shay. <laughs> Come on. You <sighs> Before no we're thrills. too What's drunk, up? let me ask you some <laughs> questions. Please do. You play so many instruments, more than I even realize that you play. Have you ever counted? Like, do you know exactly um, the number? I mean, honestly, I don't feel as though I play any of them at the level where I'd really like to. But uh, I Come started. On. I started playing music. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Not trying to be uh, be strange about it. But but honestly, though, you're too hard on yourself. Um, I uh, about most of them. I play the instruments that don't require as much rote technical practice. At least from from my perspective. I mean, some people may may disagree, but I feel as though brass and percussion require the most like maintenance upkeep practice mm, every yeah, day I would agree. And there's not enough time in the day to do that like it's, when you're playing the playing the piano you press a button and it's in tune and it sounds good so mm -hmm. good there's still practicing that needs to be done for maintenance on all of them but uh i don't have an extra hour every day to do clark studies and warm-ups on brass so mm. i don't play brass i see nothing wrong with being really good at a lot of different things as opposed to being like overwhelmingly fantastic on just one like mm -hmm. i think it's great to spread those talents out. So the fact well, that you I'm, I'm play so I'm glad to many. know that uh, I'm not overwhelmingly fantastic. You're so chill. No, it's okay. Damn. I'm just playing. I'm, so, I'm totally playing. No, I just, I, I started playing music when I was a little kid and I never thought it would actually turn into a career. When I was a little kid, I thought I was going to be an engineer and build robots. And, you know, I was a big nerd as a kid. And I feel like music is my retirement job and I'm just retired without having worked in the first place. I love that. Well, let's let's go back and talk about you as a kid. Uh -oh. You had to start somewhere. What was the sure. first instrument that you you learned and how Jordan. did it go from one instrument to all of these instruments? Uh, the, the organ. I started out playing the, the organ. There was a there was a home organ in my house uh, for no apparent reason because nobody played it. And uh, it sat in the corner. I don't know. You probably have things in your house that you buy and you never use. Uh, I don't know. It sat in the corner like ex exercise equipment. And the story goes, I mean, I was there, but I don't remember. <laughs> the way my mother tells the story, my dear loving mother. Um, one day when I was five, I walked up to it and started poking around. And they said after about, you know, five, ten minutes, they started hearing melodies. Like I was figuring it out. And they're like, oh, well, let's, let's, uh, Let's make this kid do it more, I guess. So my, my folks have been tremendously supportive my whole life, you know, and uh, yeah, I just sort of played around. Wow. Love it. So, so from day yeah. one, it was just like game on. Like yeah. uh, reminds me of, of the Elton John movie, Rocket Man, where he was just like, just playing stuff by ear and it just was natural for him. Sure. I mean, yeah. you know, <laughs> and, and, and why not? 
I mean, not not negating natural ability, and I'm sure I have some natural ability, but anyone's skill set is mostly a reflection of what they have spent a lot of time doing. If you spend a mm-hmm. lot of time doing something, you're going to be good at it. And that is a reflection of what you're curious about and what you enjoy doing. So whatever you're curious about, uh, that's what you spend time doing, and that's what you're able to do. Like, well, I, I've, I've never seen The Bachelor, so I know nothing about it, <laughs> but I'm curious about instruments and about cooking and about, I don't know, remodeling <laughs> my house and ad- adversarial neural networks and all sorts of things. So yeah, with with Shay, you never know. You never know what you're going to get. It's always interesting and always curious. And I am curious because you do a lot of work as a studio musician. So can you take us through a day in the life of a studio musician, like wake up, <laughs> brush your teeth with a bottle of Jack. No, I'm just right. kidding. Well, no, no, I throw some whiskey in the coffee. No, okay. I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, the thing that I love the most about uh, the, the lifestyle- Oh, here we go. That... Jerry wants oh. to give a shout out, brother hey, Shay. It's my, it's, your doppelganger. It's my evil twin. <laughs> or wait, How do you know you're twin, not the evil one. Yeah, that's I what know. I was going to say. Yeah, long, so a lot of people get us confused for each other. Yes. And uh, I'm very happy about that. It's good for business. Because <laughs> he's much better at business than I am. But, oh, my God. Uh, so anyway, yeah, a day so in the life day, of the, the studio. The thing that I love the most about, uh, you know, play, playing music for a living, which is what I did until everything got locked down, uh, was that every every day is different. Every single day is different. I never know what I'm going to be running into. One day I could be, you know, running to a studio across town. The next day I'm, you know, headed to LA for a gig. Then I'm there for a couple of days. Then I'm back. I'm here. I'm recording stuff at home. I got three days off so I can actually like compose some music and do my own thing and like take care of my garden. And then, you know, it's always something different. But um, I don't know. As far as the studio thing specifically, uh, I love recording in the, in the studio. I mean, it's very... Uh, more everything than in your you own do, house. Well, I mean, just in general recording, because everything you do is mm. put under the, the microscope. And mm-hmm. as opposed to it being ephemeral, when you're performing on a stage and you do it and it's gone, Forever, uh, it's, yeah. it's captured and you can take the time to, to think about it and really analyze it and really craft something that, that stands a bit taller than what you would do on a stage live. That having been I, said, when I'm playing in the studio, I love being completely spontaneous my yeah. favorite thing in the world would be for somebody to like shake me awake at four in the morning and throw a pair of headphones on and, and just give me a click and be like all right we're song. Going. Oh! <laughs> oh my god i, I oh love my that god. feeling way better than being premeditated it's very chill right it's so chill oh oh do i have to drink now mm-hmm. oh dear mm-hmm. you started it shay i have to say pino because you I'll were talking it. i'm sure you will you were talking about the movie soul was it yes. last week? We Wait, watched that, it. You know what I love so it, much? Jay? You know what my favorite thing is? I what? don't know anything about that movie. I think it was Jerry. <laughs> what? I I heard that that movie came out, but I don't actually know what it's about, and I haven't watched it. I think that was my doppelganger, Jerry, talking about oh. it. Oh. <laughs> no, me. Oh, I was no. talking about Oh, I thought you were... No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. No, never mind. It wasn't you, Shay. You oh, should okay. watch sorry. it, though, because I'm they I'm sorry show... to have accused you of that. That's okay. <laughs> um, you know, uh, the guy gets in the zone. He's playing the, the piano and he gets in this zone and it shows that you go to like this otherworldly dimension. Another universe. And, yeah, another universe. And when you're in the zone and I feel like that's where you go when you're like in the studio and you're just like, mm, right? That's just, that's just where I live. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> That's fair. That's a nice place to live. (laughs) I don't know. I love it. Okay, so we're talking about the studio. Um, You've obviously been very busy during the pandemic creating some original songs, which I know we're going to listen to one of these masterpieces here in just (laughs) a minute. I don't know if I call it a masterpiece. It is overwhelmingly amazing. The intent is. is simply to amuse. I love it. But sure. Well, we are amused. Now, before we actually play it and jump into it, we want to know more about your pandemic experience. What have you found to be some of the more like positive side effects, if you will, of the, this whole crazy Corona pandemic situation? Well, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm pretty lucky in that I, I live in a city like Phoenix, Arizona, where cost of living is, is pretty low comparatively, especially compared to a lot of my friends who live on the coast. 
so <laughs> I haven't been nearly as stressed as, as some of they are. And also, um, you know, it doesn't really take much to keep me entertained. And when, you know, three days before St. Patrick's Day, all of the, the gigs were canceled and I had a full calendar as I have since I was, you know, 15 or 16 years old and I started performing. That's, you know, I've been, I've been out three, four, five, six nights a week since I was a, a teenager. So when everything fell off of the calendar, uh, my first reaction was not despair. It was more relief. Not that I don't enjoy what mm. I do, but it was it was nice to say, OK, well, let's let's just see what what happens. And I'm not going to play anything. I'm not going to play any music until I feel inspired to just to see mm. what would happen. And then like three days later, I was sitting in front of the piano practicing Bach. I went, okay, good. <laughs> so the love for music is still there, but I no longer have to just rent out my time to be creative. And instead I can be creative of my own accord and for my own fun. And I yes. managed to find, you know, other, other things to, to keep me busy. And I'm getting work as a, you know, doing video editing. And I, I teach a few students and, you know, do all sorts of stuff. I've got another four songs to record tonight after we're done here. So I probably can't oh, wow. talk to you past midnight, but I'll get there. <laughs> you have to at least promise that you'll take some time to watch Soul. Even Kayla yes. on Facebook, she knows yes. it's such a good movie. You got to make time to it watch is. that that movie. Okay. You'll dig it, Shay. Sure, You'll should, really, I, really like it. I, should, I, I feel, feel like the po this show should be sponsored by it because I talked about it so much last yeah. episode. Yeah. And then here we are. You talked about it so much that I had everybody sit down and watch it. I was like, Pino said this is great, so we have to watch it. And it was fantastic. Um, I, okay, so I, I promise you I will watch it because when I, when I started dating my partner, I hadn't had a – I hadn't lived in the same house as a television for over 15 years. And I don't Whoa. really consume much media, but, uh, you know, we started watching a movie together every once in a while. So I built a 128 inch ambient light rejecting screen and theater in my house, oh. which I use maybe an hour hey, a week. Hey, you do nothing halfway. You well, go if all if the way do it, beyond. If you're yeah. going to do it, why not do it? You know, it's true. but it's, I, I almost, I never use it. I watch like maybe a movie or two a month and no shows. So this is one I, to watch, watch yes, please. Yes. Yes. Sure. yes. And then let us know <laughs> yes. what you think. We would okay. love to know what you think. Of the movie. It's, a, it's about music, right? Yes. yes. A jazz okay. musician. Oh. Yeah. Who? Just a made up uh, one, a Pixar you know. one. Yeah, yeah, it's a Pixar you know. one, right? Yeah, okay. it's a made up musician, but it follows his life. You'll you'll love it. It's great. It's it's mm -hmm. basically about appreciating what you have right in front of you. Okay. Yep, which it well, sounds like that's exactly what you've been doing during this whole pandemic time. And I have to say, I had a very similar feeling when all the gigs just dried up. It was kind of like a, oh. And it was a lot longer than three days for me, I'll tell you that. Right. I think for oh, yeah. me, it was more like three months. I was like, I'm good. Sure. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. well. So I love that you found that out. And I'm glad that you have had this time to be creative and to show the world your talents. And now our viewers get to see them as uh -oh. well. So we are going to share your video. Do you want to say anything before we, we show this video? Yeah, what's it a video of? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, uh, right? Well, <laughs> you playing uh, it's Back it's Home the... Again. Is that what it's called? Oh, Back, home, back again? home Again. In... Oh, OK, cool. Yeah, that one was a lot of fun. I did that in, a, in an afternoon. Uh, I don't know. I was like. I, I couldn't fall asleep and I was thinking about the tune. I went, you know what? This this will be fun just to, to do just for the, the sake of, of doing creation for for creation's sake. So I don't know. Why not? I've, I've, if people enjoy it, great. I'm glad. So enjoy. Well, we will find out. So viewers of Candidly Crystal, you are seeing this here on our show. This is Shay Marshall performing Back Home Again all by himself. Back Home Again because of Corona, and it's where I want to be. We all stopped wearing pants, now I just wet my plants, and I make music just for me. My kitchen's full of sweet aromas, though I always dine alone. The year was booked, but now it's all been canceled. Here I'm stuck in good old Arizona. Back 
to wear a mask and wash your hands and stay away from all your friends who couldn't stay out of bars and clubs and restaurants and put the rest of us at risk of running out of breath and staying home until next year. I love it! (laughs) And now it's next year and we're still staying home, so. It's true. Yeah. Here we are. With, with, with no line in sight of when I go get to go and annoy my friends in their face again. I'm like, I'll be there soon, friends. I'll be there yeah. soon. <laughs> we, we can't wait. Absolutely. That was amazing. And I feel like it was so like um, quirky and sp- like I love what you did with it. That was very, very cool. So kudos to you, Shay. That, oh, that nice. was awesome. Yes. Um, Christine just, says, yay. She loved yes. it. Hi, so. Christine. Yay to you, too. So I have to know, though, yeah. all of these different shots. I'm I, trust me. I'm I, again. I'm good at many things, but I'm not a pro. I I've done some video editing. That is not mm-hmm. easy. How long did it take you to record all of those different parts? Mix, master all the video editing. How long did it take you to do that? I did the project in an afternoon. Wow, Shay. Yeah, all the per- performing. <laughs> Everything all, all from the, filming yes. to. Yeah, I mean, I probably. St- I mean, I premeditated it the night before as I was falling asleep and thought about it and came up with the lyrics over the maybe like 90 minutes laying in bed and then fell asleep. And then the next day I probably started around 11 AM and published around nine or 10 PM. I don't know. That's that going to be my I, motivation. I'm going to write it on a thing in front of that me. Was, that was say, before I, I knew how to edit video 24 though. hours is Shay. What like, are you doing? doing? That, yeah. that was like, that was like six months ago though. Like now, now I actually know how to edit. Well, I, I don't claim to know how to edit, but you know, I've, I I think I do a lot better now than I did then. I mean, there's uh, you can you can see where on some of the the compositing where there's uh, a couple pixels that are off on the left eye, and then the one shot with the smooth cut where I'm going from one saxophone to another to another. It was lit terribly. It was shot on an iPad. I mean, I'm I'm doing better now. I don't I didn't notice any of that. I was I was booking well, because the concept yeah. is strong. It's not about the skill. It's about the concept, and that's what it always is. If the concept is strong, as long as you can bring the concept along and get the concept to the people who are watching. All of the finesse is just there to help you, you know, push the the concept. It's nobody's going to, you know, watch a silly video of me playing a bunch of instruments and go, oh, wow, that cut was like perfect. I didn't <laughs> yeah. see the cut. No. Except an editor who wants to criticize me, which yeah. go right ahead. Yeah, which I'm sure you have friends <laughs> that I would criticize. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys are rough on each other, but I think it's fantastic. We oh, love it. We have Skylar saying that let me hear claps for Shay. Claps oh, for Shay. Thanks. Claps for Shay. It was Sweet. it was it was wonderful. And uh, we Thank like to so do much. a segment on our show where we find random photos of our guests and show them oh. on the air. <laughs> no, um, no, she likes to do this go right ahead. to put her friends on the spot. I love this so much. It's very chill. It's very chill. Oh, Reminding us. We are slacking. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's kind of like a this is your life kind of a moment. Shay Marshall, oh, this is dear. your life. Okay. And I hope it's I want you... pictures that other people took and posted of me. Well, I don't know. Are they, are they pictures that you took? No. Oh, no, no I, didn't take, right. I didn't take any of these photos. Um, okay. But here's the first one. What is... Oh, yeah, that was... A, okay, this? so this past... <laughs> summer my sister <laughs> got married back home in pennsylvania and uh you know i i didn't want to is this to... real is that a real building yeah that's the longer burger basket company that's just east of but columbus like, ohio yeah i heard a longer burger baskets but yeah that's, that's really what the I mean, building looks oh, wow okay so mm. the, well the story behind this is that my my sister got married uh at the end of july beginning of of august and I didn't want to have any risk of bringing COVID home to my parents or my family or anything. So uh, I took a road trip and I just threw a mattress in the back of my Volkswagen wagon and I didn't interact with any people and kept myself in the car except for getting fuel and drove from Phoenix to uh, Pittsburgh. But, you know, I wasn't just going to drive along and not do anything. So the whole way along, I stopped at all of the roadside attractions that you could see without having to interact with anyone. So I saw, let's see, the world's largest wind chime, the world's largest rocking chair, the world's second There's largest rocking things. chair. Yeah. World's second largest rocking chair, which was actually uh across the street. By my friend Jeremy. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a couple towns oh. over. There's like a whole controversy. <laughs> like Starbucks. The largest okay. everything I 
I stayed at uh, Bonnie and Clyde's hideout in Joplin, Missouri, which oh, was awesome. Oh, that's cool. It's an Airbnb, and you can stay there. What? Because, like, it's just a, a garage apartment. We need to get a bank now. and then go stay there. <laughs> uh, I have no knowledge of this mission, and if I did, I wouldn't be able to discuss it. But <laughs> Joplin, Missouri is actually pretty cool. It's a cool yeah. little town. Uh, but, yeah, I went to, like, the Field of Dreams, uh, you know, field on Route 66. I've been there before. I would love that. But that would be cool. It no, sounds I amazing. Just, I like, let's travel I like with Shay. Going places. Go right he ahead. is going places. And speaking well, of well, going places. Honest, what, what going is, what, really places. quick though, what is a good thing about road trips, right? The people you go with and the music. And, and it seems like we got both those covered we got, with Shay, right? I, <laughs> I went by myself and I listened to comedy and podcasts. So oh, I love comedy I podcasts, though, especially when you're driving. <laughs> so no, no I'm music, also one no of people. those. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm also one of those weirdos who likes to listen to like the murder mystery podcast while I'm oh, yeah. listening to this. Those are mm-hmm. yeah. See, we sure. great road trip partners. Yeah. We would be fantastic. Okay. Um, so I feel like I have so many photos, but I can't find it. Okay. What is this? What's tell us? Yeah, I can't quite see that. <laughs> oh, that's my mask. Okay, so my uncle Joe got me that mask, and I've got a I've got a few of them now. I have masks that look like well, I think as long as you gotta wear a mask. I mean, why wouldn't you wear a mask that made people laugh when they saw you? So I have one that looks like a no. uh, like a duck's mouth, and it, it's articulated. I've seen that one. Talk, I have it seen opens that up. one. You've seen me wear yes. that one? And I have. Oh, my gosh. I and you just... showed up. Shay, you showed up in this mask, and I didn't yeah. know you were wearing a mask for the yeah. longest oh. time. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You didn't I get comments all like, from hey. Dan. Look hey. at from Dan on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> when traveling, uh, when with, traveling Jay with Jay Marshall, Marshall wear a gas mask. I don't know what that means, but okay. Hey, you're in good company. I think we'd <laughs> we'd be the same boat, Jay. You and I. Sounds like fun. Maybe well, lactose the queen. intolerance. I am the queen. I, I, have, I have no lactose issues. I'm not sure what you talk about. But, um, <laughs> That's oh well, I mean, Dan, I mean, Dan and I traveled uh, a few years ago. We traveled out to LA a few times, and I just remember that his he was driving this little white truck, and there there was something wrong with his horn. So whenever he hit the horn on the truck, it would just go. Mm. And it was the greatest. <laughs> Funniest thing. What's going to yeah. catch you off guard, though? A yeah. Or an actual right. horn. It's that first one. <laughs> Tremendous. Tremendous. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but oh, my course, gosh. I mean, if, you're, if I'm going to be out and about and, like, hanging out, why not make people laugh? Yes. You know? Yeah. Why not I love that. There are so many that? opportunities in life to bring joy to the people around you. And I I get sad Can when you, they aren't taken. You, you know? find why not? All, of, all of the opportunities. All oh, right. look at that. Oh, Chad Gregory. I played with him last night. I did a, a duo gig with... Okay, so that's Chad Gregory music. He, a uh, gu- guitar player, singer, one of my favorites, and we did a gig last night down in uh, Gilbert at a place called Sandbar, and he played guitar and sang, and I played uh, the harmonica, the bass clarinet, and the electric bass, because why not? Usually I wow, play accordion yeah. with him, but I didn't feel like bringing the accordion because I'm lazy. I don't know. but It's heavy yeah, it's fun. and big. So that's... Okay, so that, that picture... You got a fish picture. That's what she said. Weird. That's like the worst picture for Tinder, right? Isn't that what it is? You're not supposed to have fish. <laughs> really? It's funny know. because that. you said, oh, that's Chad Gregory. I was like, no, that's you, like the Shay. No, no, no that, it's the Chad Gregory like, shirt. It's like, wait, wait, is one fish named Chad and the yeah, other fish is no, named Chad? No, the shirt Chad that I'm Gregory. wearing is promoting Chad. Like this shirt Look, that I'm wearing dinner? right now. Chad. Yeah, like this shirt right here. It's from uh, Le Tom de Saris, which is uh, when I was on tour with the Sugar Thieves, I think the first or the second tour European tour we did. We were in France, just outside of Paris, just outside of Chartres, actually. And we ended up at this weird, like, it's something somewhere between a music club and an anarchist compound where we, uh, you know, we got up and we performed for, for all of the folks and then stayed in a, in a home that was over a thousand years old. It was tremendous, tremendous. Wow. But... The, the shirt is from uh, Le Temps de Cerise, which was a protest song in the, I think, oh, what year was it? It was like the late 1800s written in France. And uh, Temps de Cerise means the time of cherries, but that's what they wrote it as because oh, they couldn't say the time of Cerise, like the, the <laughs> crisis. So it was a pun on oh. crisis and cherries, but it was about like how the revolution is about to come. And we will be economically better and socially better right after the, the revolution comes, which for me is a technological singularity, but that's a whole other topic. And in that picture, I was there catching yellowtail. Is there anything Yellow can do? Oh no. my God. <laughs> Nothing. Well, in that picture, I'm that's catching yellowtail. That's why we yellow had to tail. have them on the show. Yeah, I, I picked up, it was about like six miles offshore. Did you catch uh, these? In a town. Co- yeah, I caught them. What are they? Do you know what they are? Yellowtail. Of course. 
Oh, they're yellow. Okay, tails. okay, okay. Um, I no. just didn't know. Oh, is it okay. Chad and Gregory or is there a chill. type of fish? Yeah, no, those are, those, are, those are yellow tails. So I go chill. I go, I go fishing a couple times a year uh, offshore in a place called Puerto Lobos, which is about two hours south of Rocky Point. I'm not trying to blow it up, but I don't know how many of your your followers are deep sea well, fishermen. We're going. So you're probably okay. We're going to yeah, go with you go. this year. I love, I love it. Yo, Ipino? Arturo's fishing tours. Arturo is awesome, but we go by ourselves. And it's a little subsistence fishing village just south of Rocky Point, like two hours. There's no nobody there. We camp on the beach, you know, do your oh, business no. in a it, hole no. and no running no. water, no nothing. No, and no, just no. Live. Oh, mm -mm. I love it. No, I won't be there. <laughs> just get no. away. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. It's, but that it's sounds fun. Go with a group mm -hmm. of musicians and don't bring an instrument. Okay. Shay. How yeah. long did it take oh. you to find all of these matching matching colors for this? That outfit? was an accident. That was an accident. <laughs> okay. So that's a gig that I did with uh, a group called the the Mammoth Ensemble. And uh, that's uh, a group that does all video game music. It's vi music from video games. Mm. And they had asked me to come and play. Where do you them guys play? A regular keyboard Where do they play? That sounds they, fantastic. They, well, they played at a place called Bonus Round, which is now closed. And it was awesome. But no, perfect. Uh, I... I don't play any video games, so I didn't know so any of the songs. You can, you can play the music. Well, of course. I mean, it's all—it's very well written. The, you the look like Mario, like like Nintendo Mario on vacation. Well, actually, okay, so I I bought that shirt. <laughs> I was I was recording one of the last three Sugar Thieves albums this past year. When the gigs were canceled, we released three new albums, and one of the recording sessions. <laughs> uh, I had been out for a couple days and I hadn't been home before going to the recording session and I needed something to wear. So I stopped at a Target and just grabbed a shirt off the clearance rack. And that's that shirt. And then how much was it? I don't know, four or five bucks. It was just a button that's down shirt. Cool. If it's Target, session. it's still like $75 on the clearance rack. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, it's like four or five bucks. It's Target. Come on. But, it looks uh, good. But yeah, so after I did the recording session, I wore that shirt. Uh, over to my partner's place, and and she said, "Hey, I love the Toy Story shirt." And I was like, "What?" Because I've never seen any of the Toy Story movies. But she said, "It's a, it's a Pizza Planet shirt, which I guess is like a restaurant oh, on the Toy Story." Oh yeah. So that's because right. I was playing with it with like a group of like video game nerds, I thought like that's the closest thing I have. So I wore that, and I figured, it's well, it's red and white, so I wore a bunch of red and white, and then I showed I was... up and didn't realize that I matched my keyboard. So Oh, yeah. I was impressed with this outfit. That's why this oh, is thanks. included, because it was impressive. Now, this one is included because of the caption. Oh, that's Jerry. That's Jerry. It's it's your doppelganger. We've had Jerry Maxwell on the show yeah, playing we, we guitar. We don't look for very us. similar in that in that picture. And that's you no, actually but, do. No, you actually. Well, do. not as much as we normally do. <laughs> yeah, but, usually in the beginning, okay. I didn't know who was who. So but in no, that, no. In no. that picture, I'm going for like uh, Christopher Lloyd's character on Taxi, Reverend Jim. Oh my Jackson. God, love Reverend you Jim. Know? Earlier I you were talking, taxi. wait a minute, Crystal, earlier you were talking about how you were raised by Nick at night. So yeah. was I. I grew up in yeah. a house that had like seven or eight televisions and I watched all of the old TV oh, shows. Everything Nick from Logan 77 all Sunset day. Strip on up. And Nick at night all night. That's, yeah, that's so I saw, I I saw all of them. So I don't, I, don't, I don't watch them anymore. But I saw all of them and I was going for Reverend Jim in that picture. That's great. I love it. But the, my favorite thing and why I included this photo is because Jerry said, <laughs> he said that this is a photo of him and him in the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Jerry in the witness protection program. Yeah. The one, yeah. the one in the hat has, a, has a social security card. That's not his. Right. 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 Like and the, that, and that, the that's one, just... and the, and, and me in the, in the jacket and everything is him. If he like ran away to, to Barbados, you know, Slovenia, something. And okay. didn't bring his family and just wandered for a year mm -hmm. and then came and back there he was. Name. Look at that. Crystal. See? Oh, chill. Oh, I got a drink now. Crystal knows what's up. Mm -hmm. Another Crystal. Hang on. Crystal. Three oh, love Crystals, luck. two Brandons. There's only one me. At least you got my doppelganger, Jerry, on there. But look at that. I don't know. There is only one you. I got I to gotta do my, I gotta do my best twins. to try to be as entertaining as two different people. I don't know if I could do that. You do. do but best. Shay, this yeah. is the photo that you have to answer for. Okay. And I want to know what is happening and how this originated. What is it? What? Wait, do we need this music? There it is. Oh, wait, I need to reverb for that. And he, and he is playing it himself. You're playing your own horror theme, 
She. Oh, what? okay. All right. So, what? um, uh, many years ago, I accidentally married a singer, and she had a band. Eventually, hey, what's wrong with singers? So I've, uh, oh, no offense. And um, <laughs> so so they some guy wanted to do a photo shoot with with the bands. Like I don't I don't even know why. He just wanted to have a photo, like for practice or something. So I showed up and I was like, well, you know what? The hell it is. As long as I'm here, he had like some props around. So I got in there and I, I tried to be as silly as possible in that picture so that my friend Eric and I could make an exploitable PNG with an, uh, with a clear alpha channel so we could Photoshop it. Like you've seen all the Bernie Sanders shops, right? Well, there's, yes. there's oh, like yeah, we have dozens, our own. Wait, put you know, that back up. Put there's that back dozens up. dozens of pictures. In it fact, looks like you're about to go to a street fight, but you're at a, a, an Easter party before yeah. you actually. <laughs> you ever seen Donnie Darko? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, oh, oh, and those glasses. I forgot about those eyeglasses. I got those eyeglasses at this place in Echo Park from a guy named Van, but they're over 100 years old, those frames. Those are pince nez glasses that are real tortoise shell. And oh, my. There's no arms on them. As you see, there's no arms on the so side it's of the glasses. The, sorry, Shay, the it's the tortoise and the hair. <laughs> yeah, without saying. hair. Wait, that without deserves hair. this. Tor tortoise and hair with no hair. But, oh, yeah. No, that was, I mean, that was, I, I would have posted that on, I would have posted that, the exploitable PNG on Twitter so people could Photoshop me. But, like, I, I started my Twitter account during the Bush administration before anybody was on it. <laughs> and I used it for like six months, and I was like, "There's no reason to have Twitter because nobody uses Twitter." It's and just you I, and Tom from MySpace. Right. Yeah. So yes. now I, I I tweet once every five years. Like every five years, I tweet. I tweeted in 2015. No, no, I no. Every in five years, you feel a twat yeah. coming on. Yeah. That's what <laughs> so yeah, so I tweet every five years. I'm just gonna let that go. I usually do. And uh, so I, yeah, yes, so I, I tweet like once every five so years crazy. and go like, "Hey." Like, does anybody use this yet? Does anybody care? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I got an Instagram uh, nine years ago and posted some pictures and nobody got on. Like, I'm, I'm into everything. You're so ahead currently. of the curve. You know what, yes, Shay? Like, know. next time you join something, let us know so that we can be on the ground floor well, of I'm whatever on TikTok. it is. I got like 160,000 on TikTok, but that's just I know. Like me being that's weird we, and we doing like impossible that. musical shit. Yeah. Like, if it, but why? If, who cares? I mean, it's all just... There's, it's, there's. It is what it I, is. It is I mean, what it maybe, is. Maybe, maybe art can be made. Uh, maybe, but you're gonna um, make it. Yeah, but it's it's so sensational in that you know you you have to capture someone's attention in sort so of a quickly. conniving way in the first yes. five seconds that it's not. What once I I saw it and I was like, huh, I wonder if I can get a ton of followers on this. And then I figured out how to do it. And, and you I got did. a ton of followers. And now I'm like, okay, well, I don't need to do that anymore. So now I'm looking for the You're next done. one. You have I genuinely stuff. feel like every time I look at videos that do really, really well, I'm like, people are weird. Like, why people is it my weird. morbid video? Why is sure. it these like random one-off things that people are just like, oh, go back to it. Of course. Oh, you know what I mean? I love it. It's, I'm, in, it's I'm into the so sea strange. shanty thing. I was into the sea shanty thing. Although the, the, the Wellerman is not technically a sea shanty because it's not a work song, but that's a whole other story that goes uh, Yeah, that is a whole other story. And that we don't need to get we'll, into that. But I'm into we'll, sea yeah, shanties and I time. want someone to write some space shanties because I want to go to Mars. You, it'll be and you. And some space shanties on the way. You I would go retire in orbit. if someone you told go. you. 100%. We'll let you live on Mars. We'll send 100%. you right now. Yes. Yes. Would you bring, yes. what instruments would you bring to Mars? Ooh, what would you bring? None of them. What would you bring? None of them. None of them. Would no, you leave a piano so you can do the? That's not worthless on Mars. <laughs> I, I mean, People there's, need there's that. Enough, there's enough <laughs> piano players on Earth. No, I would. I would want to create. You don't want you to know, be the only one on Mars. No. Well, I. I feel like even just for the sake of the the, um, even just for the sake of creating Martian. Culture. I mean, think about it. The first, the you first wave the of people who Martian moved there. Music, yeah, man. The, the, the first people who moved there are going to be, you know, just setting up the society. But after a generation or two, it's going to be a separate culture from Earth, and nobody on Mars is going to be worried about like what country they came from on on Earth or who their parents were or anything else like that, because you're all Martians, and it does it doesn't matter. So you could sort of start over and create a Martian culture. That's a little more advanced than Earth. Okay, culture. I have the I best question so. for you two musicians, though. Okay. You guys go to Mars, right? You yeah. two, Crystal Stark, 
Shay sure. Marshall, go to Mars. You introduce yourselves to aliens and they say, play us something from your planet. Sing us Boom. something from your planet. Oh. Boom, what Shay. are you playing aliens for the first ready. time? Oh. I want to know. I, that, there are so many questions to unpack there. I mean. <laughs> it's too much for Shay. Well, no, no, no. It's not, it's not that. But it's, there, it's just too many options. There are so many things we have to get through. First, first, you know, on what time scale do they live, and how do they experience sound? <laughs> oh my god! And this and, would be me. We do Whitney, and the, like I would be ready. <laughs> the non-musician for me would be like, cause this is thriller, thriller yeah. night. I mean. Uh, I could probably just play play any old thing. Like, here, you know what? I'm gonna invent what I'm going to play for, and I swear, if I oh meet, my gosh, yes, if I meet aliens on Mars, I swear, if I meet aliens on Mars, this is what I will play for them. Okay, so okay. Crystal We're Stark, ready. yes, I want you to name two notes, any two notes, F sharp, okay, and C. <laughs> okay, F sharp and C, tritone. Cool, I can use yes. that in a lot of different ways. Yes. Crystal yes. Pino, I want you to give for me give me a noun and a feeling. All right, noun. Um Eiffel Tower and okay. uh joy. Feeling. Joy. Joy about the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Yes. Let's see what I can do with this. Here's F sharp. Here's C. Okay. Okay. Of course I got a try tone. <laughs> yeah, of course you So it fits there, of course, but you know. So I got So that's what I'll play to I impress the it. Martians. And I hope you have a recording of that because I'm not going to remember it. We but, do. Yeah. We got yes. it. Yeah, do you want, do you want to give it. that song a name? Do you want to give it a name? Yeah. Ma okay, Martian. Name. Eiffel Martian. Eiffel bougie Martian. Martians. Bougie? Well, what do you mean bougie? <laughs> in a good way. Eiffel <laughs> Bougie Martians. All right. Yeah, I mean, or I'm actually, it kind of made me feel very, like, nostalgic, uh, a little oh. carnival, like like it was a little carnival y. Like well, like mean, it could I... be on a on a merry go round a little bit. Like yes. Martian go Martian go round. Oh. Or a tra oh wait, wait a minute. Like a transition mm. in between a great eighties sitcom. That's mm -hmm. what played in between huh. the transition. Oh, eighties. Okay. So you wow. knew. That's what I got there from we the go. dun, dun. Sure. It was I very mean, I, like you know, what, what, what I what you said Eiffel Tower. So that made me think of the, the 1889 exposition that it was created for. So I was thinking 18, 1889, which is around the time of, of Satie when he was composing, sitting at the Montmartre, you know, right before Picasso showed up. And I don't know, maybe when he was older, he hung out at the Moulin Rouge. I don't know. But now, that's what I was thinking when I started. And uh, Yeah, it, I could hear that. You, well, you have, a, you have an original Picasso in your house. I do. Of course. Shay, I you... would legit pay like do you want to see it? hundreds of dollars do you to, want to see it? To get I'll a glimpse get inside your head, because gonna, I feel like I know it's it's well, it's a wonderland. It's my, like oh, so the soul anybody that wants a glimpse, is, like my I don't care. My phone number is there in the corner. Just call it me is. anytime if you want to like <laughs> text tell me a joke him, call him, or ask me a question, or if you have he a project. He is available. Yeah, I just like I don't. I make my money other places. So like, if you've got <laughs> something that you're working on that's at the intersection of art and technology, or that you just think you don't know who to call or you just think would be fun i would love to be involved but if you want to you see know, the picasso i'm gonna have to disappear for 20 seconds is that okay yeah i, well, I yeah, do want to see okay. yes yes okay. Look, i'm yeah. not gonna Here's hear what thing. you're saying i gotta disappear Give that's me a second. fine I'm gonna grab i, I I'm always gonna grab wonder you know i thought it was who who I'm you're not gonna, gonna call hear you right now, so no go ahead i you know it's fine you know i always thought who are you gonna call when you don't know who to call and i always thought it was ghostbusters but but now we know it's shay marshall that's Legit, you call. take the number down, and if you're mm -hmm. ever on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and you get to phone, you a, friend, to phone a friend, phone Shay Marshall. Call Shay Marshall. Right? Put the number in your phone and save it, because you might no, need the, it. The last it might time I went life. to do a gig, at, you're talking about calling me. The last time I did a gig in San Diego, um, 
Yeah, in fact, it was on the way to that gig that you put a picture of. Yeah, go right ahead. That gig you you put a picture of Jerry doing on the the aircraft carrier. I I took Mm -hmm. it. I tagged the back of my car. Just text me a joke with my phone number. And it was the most fun drive because everybody was hilarious the whole time. That's really, really fun. This is why we need to go on a road trip with Shay. Well, I mean, if you have the opportunity to have fun, this is the only life we get. Like, this is. This is all there is. Shoot. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a radical atheist. One so chance, this is all guys. We get. So you only get well one shot. Enjoy it. I miss your do chance your to, to blow. Yeah, do your best to keep people happy. Yeah. So, M&M. so years Show ago, I, years ago, well, I lived we're... with a family from France, and they did their best to civilize me. Uh, they didn't mm-hmm. do very well because even you know, men not just sous mon parle français comme un vache américain. Which is, I only speak French so like a, like an American cow. Yeah. But. Um, <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> So they, my they own recording still. studio, and when <laughs> when I stayed with them, you know, I lived as if I were with the family, and they taught me to cook and everything. And in the uh, in the bedroom, there were three original Picasso sketches, so I had to have one for my house. So I got this from a collector in Rome, uh, who referred to it as second quality. But this is not a print. This is not a. Uh, I feel like I'm doing show and tell, but this this is not like a, a, a print is. or a reproduction or something. This is. Picasso's hand as he was probably sitting at the Montmartre on, uh, let's see, September 3rd, 1968. And this was the second one he had done that day. But this is his sketch. And I'm sorry, it's a, a bit uncouth. Wow. But, and when you first look at it, it looks like a little kid did it, right? Because wow. you know, that's the first impression. And then you realize Depending. he had to go through. The... No, no, yeah, no. What I'm saying is he had to find his way through the whole forest of art. If you look at the pieces that he created when he was 18, 19 years old, there's mastery mastery of the art of painting and then it took the rest of his life to learn to do to represent so much emotion with just one line and in this in this image i feel as though he's you know a master who's just messing around like someone at the top of his craft who's messing around and that's what i love the most bach and victor borga and gilbert gottfried like i i love their masters of what they do and they don't care at all and are just playing the whole time. The I love it. favorite type of art. So your perspective on about. everything is admirable. Can I just say it that? Is. Because there's so many things that you've said tonight that have just been gems. Like you only have oh, one mm-hmm. life. Like did like why not encounter joy and happiness? And and one thing Crystal and I talk about all the time and sort of the reason behind even this show is we want to bring that joy back to people's life. We want to make oh. people smile. Again, because the last year has been like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's been like, a weird. It's been harder so, for some than others, but it's been yes. a little weird. Yes, yeah. it's, I, it's just I, adjusting. I, also, I realize that you know, I'm, I'm very lucky. I am very lucky, and I realize that. Like, you know, I get to wake up in the morning and just do what I love to do all day, and not everybody has that luxury. So it's true. You know, I, don't, I try not to be a jerk about it. Like, I realize I'm just super lucky. <laughs> But well, I'm gonna have fun doing it, and if I can make other people happy too, I'm gonna do it. Why not? And you have, and you have. Oh, well, you are you lucky. You the, made us happy. Go well, ahead. Thank you very much. And by and by the way, uh, we need to chill a little bit. <laughs> Even though my glass is nearly empty, I, I I'd like to propose a toast if that's okay, because yes, uh, of you, you talked about a couple of 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 current events. And I'm not sure if you would refer to this or not. Maybe I missed it. But today is the 35th anniversary of the Challenger space shuttle. Today is? is? Today, yes. I didn't yeah, know it was, that. Yeah, it was January, 20, January 28th, 1986, that the mm. first civilian in space was tragically killed after, you know, 73 seconds because of some O-rings that, that exploded. But mm. uh, Krista McAuliffe, that was her name. And, and the, the other seven astronauts who were there as well, of course. And, you know, being someone who is so uh, in, enticed by and excited about space travel, I don't know, maybe that's weird. But Nope, not um, weird at all. I, I feel like we should at least offer up a, a toast. Yes, and, we should. And remember that, like, it's not all over. Somebody's going. I hope it's me. I hope it's you. <laughs> I hope we all get to go and enjoy it. So here's to, yes. to, to Chris here's to the and the rest of the, the Challenger. I am down to 100% go and visit the moon. I just could not see myself actually living no. in outer space. But I'll nope. visit. No, well, well, I'll visit. Is this in outer space? I even go to a tent in what Mexico. Is it? What is it outer- then if it's not outer space? Well, outer space is outside of the solar system. Mars is the next planet over. Mars is like like nine months Oh, away. outer space. 
Yeah. Ha, Gabe says, ha ha, Shay, I'm going to bring your organ dolly back to you this weekend. Oh, yeah, Gabe, Gabe stopped by and, and borrowed some dolly. In case you were worried, me. he's going to bring it back. Worry. If I need it, I'll find him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not worried. Shay, well, you yeah. said you count yourself oh, lucky. Oh, I misspoke. It's not nine. If, if, if you go at the right time, you can get uh, today only. <laughs> if you go at the right time, you can get to Mars in seven months. Seven months. And if you go with Elon, you can roll there in a Tesla. Wow. Ooh, I'm going. I'm going. Do you do think that. in the, the Tesla spaceships, they have the karaoke like they do in the actual Teslas? The car Why karaoke? not? That dude is awesome. That dude is hilarious. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, come on. Dude, dude made a ton of money in the late 90s by starting PayPal and has just been living the dream ever Who since. Who did? Who started Elon PayPal? Musk. Elon no, Musk. he didn't. Well, he, he started Q.com. He started. That's where he first made his money. He started Q.com. I had no idea. Merged with yeah. That okay, was like I the heard there's drama behind how he actually created his money in South oh. Africa with the, the diamond mining there, and and uh, that's what I, I heard. I, I don't know. I can't. I can't speak to that. And but I don't I, know. I, I, I don't want to dive into those conspiracies right now. That's I, not. I chill. no longer own any Cougar. Chill. Right, so I can't speak no. to that. I'm sorry. But uh, but I'd Shay, love to travel to Jay thank Burke. you. Thank you for being so chill on our show. No, you said you're lucky said during this. During this, yes. time. we are lucky and to crystals, have had you. Crystals, show. thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you for I don't anytime. Know, I, don't even, I still don't even really know why I'm here, but it's <laughs> because <fun>. you're fantastic. <laughs> Okay. You're highly no entertaining. I mean, you that dropped some here. gems tonight. What, what yes. do you mean? You've you've some dropped knowledge. Some, some knowledge on us tonight. Mm -hmm. This has been wonderful. And then I'm just kind well, of like taken back by your ability to like just pick. Like I played what is it? This one. It's like well, nothing. It's like well, nothing. Yeah, he's got it. Just yep. But well, if that's if his mind. Well, if 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 somebody says a phrase to you, you can say it back to them, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, it's, the, it's the same thing. No. If I, yes. No. If if I say, well. if if I say banana ketchup is better than tomato ketchup, you can repeat that back to me, even if you've never heard that sentence before. By the way, yes. it is. It's tremendous. The Filipino banana ketchup is awesome. Oh, there's another gem. Over. There's another gem. Yes, yes. another, there's another gem. gem. Look at Gabe on Facebook. Shay is a walking, talking gem. A oh, well, diamond, but, shining well, bright like a diamond. I don't. Should I start a podcast then? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yes. I don't think anybody would really want to hear what I have to say. I just like hanging out. I but just like, want you to literally pick random bits and pieces and create that into your hey, podcast. Shay, and I here will you be go, there. Shay. This is mine for you. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, you know the, yeah, you know the notes. You can play it too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, man, honestly, the, you guys doing all this makes me feel like this. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I grabbed a harmonica. Harmonica. Down a half step. We have My everything bad. and all the things. All right, Shay, we're going to be here till 10 p.m. We have to let <laughs> you go. We love hey, you. I mean, I got work to do, but I'd rather have you. We have, we have work guys. to do. We're going to have yeah. you back. Don't let worry. Me stick, we let me stick around. Train. What's your next segment? And <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll play a soundtrack for it. You just keep yes. talking. I'll, I'll shut up so okay. you can get, all, get on with whatever you need to do now. And I'll just... This is our soundtrack? Oh. Actually, hang on. Your soundtrack is like... Uh... Yes, it's more funky. That's your theme song. That's right? from the top that of the show. That is the correct Except, key. Yeah. Yes. It's another one bites the, the dust. Keep the Dust out the, the half step. Oh, okay. No, queen. Mm -hmm. But, but another one it's an original does. song of mine, Shay. Thank you. Okay. Well, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, at, okay, so after after you've been playing music long enough and studying music long enough, it's sort of like, and this is an analogy that will make sense to none of your viewers anyway, but it's sort of like uh, studying the game of chess, where after you've played enough games of chess, every game is a variation on every other game that you've played. Yes. Well, every song that I play is a variation on every other song that I've heard. It's so true. I, so I absolutely didn't intend to asperse your song by saying that it was similar to that other song. That's just the way no, that I remember No, I'm not it. offended, Shay. I'm just giving good, you crap. It's all good. Keep the but faith. Shay, keep the faith. Keep the faith. See, there's no vocals. There you, so you don't know what. I took the vocals out. But but Shay, we are letting you go. We love okay, you. Right. We I'll want you to go and do. We want you to go and do your work. You want we me to start taking over your again. show? 
And we want you to come back is what we, we do. do want you to come back. We for may sure. do a segment with Shay, random shit <laughs> with Shay. I'm yes. Nervous. What? Nothing Here we I go. said was random. I didn't say anything <laughs> random at all. No, it was, it was very deliberate in his own mind. Yes, yes it is. It is so about. true. It is so true. Yeah. So Shay, we love you. Thank you for yes, being on do. the show. This was awesome. If you, if you want more information, you can see MrShayMarshall.com right there or Instagram at Mr. Shea Marshall, or you can call him. Yeah, put just, the number in your phone. Just call me. Yeah, just put, gonna yo, call? Put, my, put my number in your Shea phone. Marshall. And when you're out late at night and you got a weird question or you heard a funny joke or you want to hear a song or whatever, just text, text it to Shay. Make like, a whatever. funny song. Yeah, make a friend. Like the 8675309. Make a song with your... 7245309. 413. I feel yeah, like it, good, the, good, the rhythm you know? of the number works better with five and five, but it really throws people off. Like seven two four four one, three nine three three nine, with all the multiples of three oh, on the yeah. backside. But it it <laughs> yeah. sounds weird when you say it that way. So uh, alas, yeah, we won't say it that way before the grouping. But if I'm talking to somebody like international who's used to phone numbers with different groups of numbers, then I go five and five. Well, there we go. And there you have it. I, Shay, I thank you for being on the show. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. making it fantastic. We love you, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know where Shay is going to be next, check him out, MrShayMarshall.com or on Instagram at MrShayMarshall or on Facebook at Have Chops Will Travel by far one of our most interesting guests and kept us on our toes. We loved having Shay.